it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We are zooming in and we are focusing in on a viewer question that we got in. And thank you all for all your wonderful comments and suggestions and video ideas. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much. Uh, much love to you for really diving deep and rising above some of the very confusing and chronic hurt that can occur with a covert narcissist relationship. And one of the uh, most frequent questions I receive is, um, can the covert narcissist really love? Did they really love me? And, you know, to answer that question, I know it's, it's feeling like, um, you know, did they ever really get me? Did they ever really value me? Did they really have that connection? And I want to say, um, yes, um, I really do feel that, um, narcissists do love, um, just because they have a heightened sense of self-importance a grandiose sort of illusory mask which they present to the world. Um, individuals who lack empathy oftentimes of others and really don't tune into register or resonate with others' feelings, needs, wishes, emotions, desires, their experiences, they just don't tune into it. They're very aloof and sort of just don't register, um, you know, a lot of that information. They will tune in, you know, into specifics that, you know, really they're, they are interested in. Um, and so when it comes to understanding, you know, did this person love you? I mean, I think, you know, that uh, of all the narcissist personality types that these, the covert narcissist really does have a heart, but there's a certain amount of insecurity, which gets in the way of them and their ability to love or to show or be accountable or be responsible. So I think within the covert narcissist, and you will see this, I would think, late, you know, later in life with more time that the covert narcissist will be the ones who will basically, you know, admit um, that they could have done more. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of spouses who will basically say that, um, you know, I could have, if they look back in their life and they reflect and they have those personal recollections, you know, and especially with their own life, they see where they could have done more. In other words, they could have been a better person. They could have been more attuned. They could have tried harder. They could have pushed themselves. They could have gotten out of their comfort zone, but oftentimes they don't feel reinforced, validated by certain activities. So just as the, um, you know, athlete who lifts weights, who runs, you know, they might not have, when they first start out, when they first started training, you know, they might not have had that immediate gratification like that they're seeing the results or they're seeing how it's improving their life in their, in terms of their physical fitness. But once they keep up with it, then they really, you know, they see the results, their clothes are fitting better. They have more energy. They're more alert. They're less stressed. You know, then it's a, a reinforcing or positive, you know, positive reinforcing system. And I think the covert narcissists, they just don't have that same positive reinforcing system when it comes to their interpersonal relationships. They just don't, um, really kind of push themselves. They don't speak up. They don't communicate. They, they have such a insecurity, I think an emptiness deep within that they are, they have to kind of retreat. They have to be so reserved. They have to be very tight lipped. They have to focus on improving themselves, become very, very self absorbed to the detriment of them connecting with others. Um, you know, and it's, and what, and then they just tend to reinforce that, that, that pattern. I mean, they just, don't they they just aren't rewarded they aren't reinforced by certain behaviors for some reason they just truncate themselves they just cut themselves off they just limit that and um but i think that they really do love people but they have very limited amounts with which they have to give or to show um and i think because they 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 get into that self-doubt themselves or that insecurity so then they retreat back into the covert narcissist ways and so i really do think that they they feel the love and attachment but they're not able to show it they're just not able they're not comfortable with most narcissists they don't pr place a high value on certain emotional connections or giving to others um and they do so in very guarded ways. So in other words, if they're going to scratch your back, it's like you better have scratched their back for 10 times more. If you're going to, if they're going to take you out to dinner, you better have made 10 times more dinners. Do you get the drift? I mean, it's not to say that they're, they're not giving, but I think that they will expect 
quite a bit of the people who they're with and they won't give to your expectations. So oftentimes there's an imbalance in the relationship and that's why people, you know, feel that their relationship is askew or that there's some problems with a covert narcissist because they really are just, all they're really caring about is a, an, this inflated sense of self-importance. Um, this, you know, Ill illusory uh, world, fantasy world that they tend to be very tight-lipped, very bottled up. They don't share a lot with people. They keep a lot of, you know, thoughts inside and they don't show. I mean, they, they have, I guess I just want to call it a poker face. They they don't have a lot of expressions, you know. Um, they, they might, in just this withholding of information or withholding of connection, withholding of, of love, you know, expressiveness is really kind of almost a form of neglect and a form of emotional manipulation. And people tend to feel unloved around them. They just don't feel valued. They don't feel important. They don't feel the love. Um, and a lot of people say, you know, it's something I can feel. I can feel the empathy. I can feel the love. I can feel the presence with somebody. And that's why you might have that like spontaneous hug with somebody. You know, you just, you've had a heart connection. You've both shared so much. You've both, you know, had an exchange and then you embrace, you know, that is, that's the love, you know, and I think the narcissist, the covert narcissist will feel that and also the overt narcissist, but they're very guarded. They're very protected of themselves just because they want to continue to, you know, have control and have power over how they're perceived, how they, what they interact with, etc. So, um, this is, is, is a problem, um, but I hope that that answers your question and I hope you understand that people oftentimes share and express love in a, a number of different ways and how you live your life fulfilled is according to what you need to feel valued and what you're looking for in a relationship. And oftentimes there's not always a good fit with a covert narcissist if you're someone who likes to be, um, you know, receiving as well as giving. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.